<laughs> that was my uh, power source. <laughs> First it was, well, it's supposed to be Oculus Connect 7, but that was actually the first time it was Facebook Connect. Then again, Facebook Connect, but it was sort of like a meta review and now it's Meta Connect. Cool. <laughs> what I'm personally looking for is the, the headset, obviously. I feel like I'm getting it for the different reasons than everyone, <laughs> because uh, it's gonna be expensive, obviously. The problem is that for me, it's gonna be more expensive because I live in Europe. We have to pay fucking taxes. <laughs> like uh, if it's gonna end up to be like 1500 and with higher storage, I think it's gonna hit 2000, <laughs> which is, um, like, like my wallet is crying already. <laughs> I just need to have two headsets uh, at the same time because I don't live here anymore in the studio. And it's nice to have a headset at home actually because I can actually play VR. <laughs> because nowadays, whatever I record, I play. Like that's, I don't do anything else because that just consumes all my time. And with the convenience that I'm not here in the evenings anymore. So I'll just get this. Quest 2 I have now and then have Quest, Quest Pro or whatever uh, for recordings. I do hope it's gonna be more, like it's gonna be easier to do stuff there. It's supposed to be more as an AR device or like business, but for me it's kind of like with the lenses and higher power already with the RAM. As a content creator I have to have good hardware to do stuff like. <laughs> is just how it is and also the pure pressure getting it because if you won't get it at least at my stage of YouTube it's kind of like automatically putting me behind so I don't really have a choice I don't think everyone will get it like YouTube wise but uh, it's just that I care a lot about the quality of the videos nowadays with the visuals and stuff like that it was said before when we were jumping from quest 1 to quest 2 it's not gonna be that m that much different like quest 1 will have a long time still <laughs> and see what happened <laughs> like after i don't even know maybe it was it was not only three months that it was there was a first exclusive um, thing for the quest 2 I think the first one actually was the battle royale thing for Rec Room. And then uh, after not only, not even one year, it was left in the dust. So I wonder if that's gonna happen the same with Quest 2 and Quest Pro. It shouldn't, but Meta changes their opinions every single time. Like, you never know with this company. Will we get some like new releases or whatever? I don't even remember what happened last year. I think the GTA was like announced to be worked on, not actually having footage or anything. And then Assassin's Creed with Splinter Cell, but Splinter Cell was cancelled. Yeah, from what I remember. I don't think the other two were, so fingers crossed we get something today. Besides that, for sure it's gonna be a lot of AR a lot of metaverse talk it depends i guess what interests you connect nowadays it's not all about vr anymore so it's more like a futuristic vision of what there's to come i'm personally the most excited about gaming showcase nowadays because that's just what i do there, but normally there's not much going on there either like I'm glad that now we, we're in the period that things are picking up, but it's not like up to the standards that we thought it's gonna be <laughs> going into the mainstream. What's gonna be also interesting uh, next year with the PSVR 2, which I'm pretty excited about and I'm gonna be getting it for sure. I need to first find the console. <laughs> I'll find it. Uh, it's just because I was thinking if I want to do it more seriously, like the channel, I guess I should just 
broaden my horizon, horizons, horizons, uh, because sticking to just one thing or like one platform or company is not good in the long run. If that shuts down, then I'm dead. <laughs> like that's just how this. And uh, Sony, to me, comparing to Meta, at least nowadays, or always has been, Sony is a gaming company. So automatically that's aligning with my interests and I know that they are passionate about it and they know what they're doing in terms of just that department. Straight up, like Meta is a social media company. At the end of the day, they might be dropping some gaming stuff and all that, but it's not like their goal, which is kind of just complete opposite to Sony, you know? And what I've been seeing uh, the technology with the their headset and stuff like that like it's just exciting because it's innovative in a way i think the haptics mostly uh, excite me because i know stuff about immersion and it's just the most important thing pretty much and with the vibrations and just the resident evil and just everything that will be happening there it's it's cooking up to be very fun. Oh my god, the white background, I can see the zoom in thing. No. <laughs> Here we are. Meta, what the hell? <laughs> Even the layout on your actual page is <laughs> shit. There's only 5,000 people watching. Is the project dead? Like <laughs> about one in three apps in the Quest Store are making revenues in the millions. Thirty-three titles What's have made statistic? more than ten million in gross revenue. Some of the best apps on Quest Two today started in our app lab, our open distribution channel. Great titles like Smash Drums, Ancient Dungeon, Puzzling Places, and uh, more. Yeah, and we expect nice that the shot. opportunities here are just going to keep growing as more devices come on the market and more people get into VR. Today, the top apps in the Quest Store are social metaverse apps, and. Now, this is pretty much the same thing that we've seen what? with every other computing platform. A lot of the most compelling use true. cases for new technology come when you build things that help people connect. When Quest 2 first launched, the vast majority of time spent in VR was spent alone. Today, yeah. the majority of time spent is in multiplayer apps. No. And the most popular <laughs> apps on Quest are social. No. That's a huge <laughs> deal. YouTube VR is a great example. It's one of the most popular apps in the Meta Quest 2, and the YouTube team is working to make the experience what even more social. Fake so in the future, That's... when you're together with friends in Horizon Home... Feels like every week developers ship another amazing game for Quest 2. Titles like Little Cities, Golf Rest Plus, or Red peace. Matter Rest 2, which look beautiful and are so much fun to play. If you want an example never of just played. how fast this platform is growing... How about we start with a trailer from the latest team to join Oculus Studios? Was that the uh, Lone Echo one? No. Your past has caught up with you. Why'd you stop selling weapons, Iron Man. You can't change the past. I want to change the world. Okay, let's go. <laughs> All systems back online. Look alive out there, Stark. Hi, Tom. The world needs you, Tony. Oh. The world needs Iron Man. Marvel's Iron Man VR has been one of those dream projects for us. We've been fans since it launched, and we could not be more excited for the talented teams at Camouflage and Endeavor One to bring the game to MetaQuest 2 this November, oh. along with our partners at so Sony Interactive Entertainment and right? Marvel Entertainment. Inner Sloth, Robot Teddy, and Shell Games will release Among Us VR for ages 13 plus on MetaQuest 2 on November 10th. And pre-orders open today. Soon you'll be betraying friends from a first-person perspective. That actually looks very fun. I've never played Among Us. I know only it from the memes and just YouTube. Because of the immersion and of the presence, it might be actually a hit. It might be a bit too late. But better now. And I guess before Christmas, right? But sure, I'm down. Let's take a look at Skydance Interactive's Chapter 2, Retribution. 
That's definitely something I look forward. Well, look at you. <laughs> They'll keep reminding of the age wrench. <laughs> the living getting more desperate. Guess you ain't the only one who thrives on <laughs> creating the sound. I guess you don't need to reinvent the wheel. Oh. Gonna take nothing short of a miracle to survive what's Dang coming. Me. Wait, that's not the actual footage. <laughs> More walking that is always good. Goes, death ain't far behind. December 1st. Fine. Our friends at Skydance have also been working on something oh. new. Here is your first sneak peek. I mean, I trust. I mean, I trust Skydance. That's a very fun and good studio. Hey, this is only possible because of the developers on this journey with us. There are a lot of VR titles that bring the burn, such as Les Mills Body Combat, Fit XR, and Supernatural. And they're okay. always getting better, bringing Good. on new instructors, classes, and moves. Speaking of which, at the end of this month, Supernatural is launching Knee Strikes to better activate your core and work your lower body. How does that work? That's right. People are going to be okay. pumped for that one. Now we've got one more fitness experience that's Does making that the move from App Lab. No. Get your jump shot ready because gym class is coming to the Quest Store later this fall. Let's do this. I'm annoyed uh, at uh, things that are in the coming soon section on the application store. Like, you know, the. Let's go! I'm open! It's called MetaQuest Nano. Uh, Shoot! That has no dates. It, it can release literally any day. Let's go! Let's run it back! Okay, I mean, I've never heard about it. My is jump shot is most that definitely hoop? Like, not works? ready, not but sure. I can't wait to try. In fact, I think I've tried pretty much every fitness app out there. And one thing you learn is that when you work out in VR, hey, you're yeah, going to yeah. work up a sweat. So to help people stay active with confidence while keeping their headsets clean, later this month, we're releasing the Meta Quest 2 Active Pack, available online in the Meta Store on October 25th. This is our fitness accessory bundle with a wipeable facial interface, wrist straps, and adjustable knuckle straps to provide the perfect combination of comfort um, and control. That's too late. People have also been building some really neat fitness accessories for Quest, like nowadays. extension grips and custom handles. This is Meta Quest Pro. Okay. I really like how it looks though. <laughs> Lenses. Did they actually? Is it leather? Like the hats? The controls are looking like really interesting, though. No? Okay. Quest Pro is the first in our new line of advanced leather headsets, pad on the back, built to expand what's Front. possible in VR. It takes what people love about Quest 2 and adds a bunch of new technologies to help you do more in the metaverse. It's made for collaboration and creativity. It delivers more expression and a deeper feeling of connection than any other technology. With mixed reality built in, it lets you do things that just haven't even been possible before. It's all in a beautiful design that's comfortable to wear. So whether you're looking to work in a new way or if you just want the very best experience that's available today, right. Quest Pro sets the standard. Finally, I'm so thrilled we get to bring Quest Pro to everyone. We have completely reimagined the VR headset as a powerful device for productivity, creative work, and multitasking. Quest Pro is our sleekest form factor yet, with a super thin set of lenses at the front and our first ever curved cell battery at the back to give it a perfect balance. Yeah, it oh. feels great from the moment that you put it on. Yeah, it right, but you can also use Quest Pro's magnetic light blockers for a more immersive experience whenever you like. Mm. We've also redesigned the whole optical stack to make it better than anything we've shipped before. The new pancake lenses work by folding light over several times and let us make the display 40% thinner compared to Quest 2. 
The new lenses aren't just thinner, they also put more pixels <laughs> in the nuts. center, giving you sharper, clearer visuals, which makes reading text a whole lot easier. Yeah, and the LCD displays have 37% more it's pixels per inch than Quest 2. And thanks to our new local dimming technology, 75% more contrast with richer and more vibrant colors that just make VR even That's... more engaging. This is also our first device to use the new Snapdragon XR2 Plus processor that we worked on with Qualcomm. It's optimized for VR, so Quest Pro runs at 50% more power with better thermal dissipation, which gets a significantly better performance. Okay. And this is the first new chip from our deep partnership with Qualcomm. And don't forget, the touch controllers are also new. Yeah, the controllers are now basically their own computers, which is a bit ridiculous. <laughs> uh, we've re-engineered them to track themselves and also work oh. a bit more like extensions of your hands. Yeah, the new sensors track their positioning in 3D space all on their own without using the headset, so you can get a full 360-degree range of motion. And they include our new True Touch haptics, two. which give a wider and more precise range Three. of feedback effects. So we're including an all-new charging dock that fits great on your workspace and keeps oh, both the headset and controllers times. charge at the same time. Oh. We built mixed reality into our SDKs for Quest 2 to make it easy for developers to start experimenting. But these experiences are so compelling that you really want a device that's designed from the ground up with them in mind. Okay, you just... Absolutely. Quest Pro uses okay. high-resolution cameras that capture four times as many pixels as Quest 2, and an additional RGB <laughs> camera to turn pass-through nice. into full color, <laughs> like along with a that. depth system made to understand your environment and work with it. Another big part of Quest Pro is how much more expressive you can be. You can see here how people's avatars reflect their expressions and reactions. This makes your shared social experiences so much stronger. It's powered by our Movement SDK, our newest addition to Presence platform. Wait, what are you doing? I'm eating pills. I'm really okay. hungry. I mean, Movement this is fun SDK for social, enables which, avatars uh, to mimic expressions in real time using Quest Pro's inward-facing camera. So we're building a better way using everything Quest Pro brings to the table, and we call it Magic Room. It lets you meet in mixed reality and share the same right. space. You can use a whiteboard, bring in 3D objects, Everyone is present and has the same tools, whether they're in full VR or in mixed reality. We think that this will help hybrid teams collaborate, and we're hoping to ship this next year. Now, these are just some of the things that are gonna be possible with Quest Pro. This is a high-end device designed for work and for people who want the best experience that we can build today. We're really excited to get this into your hands, and it's available for pre-order starting today for $14.99, and it ships on October 25th. Oof. And Adobe okay. is also working to help people get more done in VR. Next year, they'll begin releasing a suite of apps for professional 3D creators, designers, and artists, from collaborative design reviews to Substance 3D modeler using Quest Pro's controllers. <laughs> and there's one more What's partnership that Steam I want to highlight <laughs> today that I think is going to be really important to the future of the metaverse. I'm here with Microsoft's chairman and CEO, Satya Nadella. Hi, Satya. Meta Hi, Mark. It's great to be here with you. And congrats on the MetaQuest Pro. Sure. I mean, as you said, at Microsoft, uh, we're incredibly excited about the Metaverse and how you don't do anything about digital it. and physical worlds are coming together and transforming everything. Microsoft Teams is the most ubiquitous advanced platform for work today, <laughs> and it's becoming World essential VR. <laughs> uh, to how hundreds of millions of people meet, call, chat, collaborate, and do business. There's one final aspect of our partnership that I want to talk about, and that's gaming. Oh my that's God. absolutely what? right, Mark. I'm really excited about gaming, y'all. When you step back, Minecraft, uh, Minecraft. one thing we've learned is how uh, immersive experiences in gaming can help create so real random. community and connection. In fact, many people are already playing our most popular games, like Flight Simulator and Minecraft, in VR today. Uh, and with xCloud Gaming, you can oh. stream hundreds of games to any device, allowing you to connect Wait with gamers in all new ways, whether they are right no, but next it's gonna to be you or okay. sitting on the I other think, side of the right? world. Um, and we are partnering yeah, to bring the okay. service to MetaQuest Store. Uh, you'll be able to play 2D <laughs> games you with PC, your Xbox controller fine. projected on a massive uh, screen on Quest. Uh, it's early days, uh, but we're excited but for what's to, to come. Uh, who knows, the next time we talk, maybe uh, we'll be playing Flight Simulator together in VR. Okay. I'm well, down for that. I, uh, All right, thanks so much for joining us today, <laughs> Satya, and thanks for the partnership. Um... Hey! We're here together well. in Horizon, <laughs> and this is the first time that we've done this at Connect. 
And this is a preview of our next generation of avatars. They're so much more expressive and detailed than anything else today, video, and they have this so unique meta know style to them. How bad it now, it's is. a lot of work to build AI they to auto-generate <laughs> these for billions of people. Let's talk a bit more about the integrations Jesus, that we're building for them. <laughs> Already see avatars showing up in stickers, stories, comments, and more across Instagram, Facebook, Messenger, and in the future, WhatsApp. The Avatar Store is store? launching in VR later this year, so you'll be able to shop for virtual clothing in VR. Oh, we're joining with a bunch of partners across sports, entertainment, <laughs> and more. You're going to start seeing a lot more of your favorite familiar brands. What I would These like is that... Um, they're going to be pretty awesome. Kind of like and later this system, year, keep a lookout in the Avatar get... store for new outfit releases from Netflix. Giving people what more ways that? to express themselves <laughs> through digital that? clothing. There's one more feature coming soon that's probably the most requested feature on our roadmap. Legs. <laughs> Okay, so this Legs. is tracking. I know you have been waiting for this. I think everyone has been waiting for this. But oh, seriously, stimulating. the legs are hard, which is why other virtual reality systems don't have them either. When you first put on your VR headset or open Horizon, you're going to land in your own personal space. Oh. Somewhere that you can design it's and gonna decorate be outside and make your Horizon own, then as well? invite your friends to hang out, get work done, or just relax and use it to jump into any experience. <laughs> Ray-Ban Stories are our first ever smart glasses. I actually saw them in you real life. You can take photos um, and videos, share them to Instagram, listen fun. to music, or even take phone calls. You feel like, uh, but what sets them apart is the design of these glasses and stuff. that people uh, already know and love. It's actually pretty discreet. Like it's now, not that obvious. This is just obvious. the first product to come from our partnership. I've talked a lot about neural interfaces yeah, in our research on EMG before. And we now have a working demo that lets you control an AR or VR device with motor neuron signals. Now, I'm not going to show you the headset this year, but here's what I'm seeing while I'm using this. Just the gentlest flick of my thumb to check my messages. And with another quick movement, I can answer while I'm on the move. Uh, or I can even take a photo. <laughs> Now, the goal here is to make these interfaces though, faster, higher bandwidth, and a lot more natural. Here, you can see two people playing an arcade game with EMG. They're both using the same gesture, but because <laughs> no two people are exactly alike, they do it in slightly different ways. The neural interface continuously gets better over time at understanding each person. Here, the algorithm is learning in real time how to respond to the EMG signals the person is sending with only the slightest of hand movements. The system is recognizing the actions the person has decided to perform by decoding those signals at their wrist and translating them into digital commands. Mm. And now, the person is able to communicate their intended actions to the computer with almost no hand movement. That's impressive. This is a genuine transformation in the way we interact with the digital world. We're going to scan Teddy, uh, not just because he's super cute, but also because he's got the right dimensions and level of detail for what we're trying to replicate. So here's how it works. We just scan him on the phone. And that's about it. Right now, this takes some processing time, so we got it ready beforehand so we could check it out. Right, that's what I imagined. Yeah. Oh, wow. The level of detail in this is impressive. You can kind of see all these fine elements of it, like each individual strand of its hair. And you can even see through the semi-transparent bow tie that he has on. In every generation of computing, there's been an open ecosystem and a closed ecosystem. There was Windows and Mac, then Android and iOS. Closed ecosystems <laughs> focus yes, shit on tight control sure. and integration <laughs> to create unique experiences and lock in. Thank you for being a part of this journey, and we'll see you again soon. Bye. Thoughts, y'all? Thoughts? My thoughts, um, we know that Quest 3 will happen eventually and it's probably gonna be next year. What I was thinking is that Quest Pro will just like be more for the longevity, I guess, because I don't think Quest 3 will be better than Quest Pro, so it's just like an investment, I feel like, if you want to get it into it now. Because from the leaks and stuff, I just saw that it's gonna have similar features, but not the same and some of the key features will actually be missing. So at least in my perspective, I'm getting Quest Pro for that reason. 
I also want to have two headsets, with one in the studio and one at home. I mean, there were no specifics like, you know, RAM, uh, yeah, better processor, sure. It's not like resolution, like it was advertised for a business mod models and stuff with no actual specifics, which maybe they don't need. They just want to know what, what are the features and stuff. Is it for gaming? Yes and no. It's just depending on what you actually want to get out of it. I like the whole social presence with the tracking and stuff. I mean, they didn't specify that it's gonna have eye tracking and face tracking, actually. They kind of hinted at it. Wait, let me see. Is is there a, like a pre-order now to actually show the actual parameters? Like, so it's premium comfort. I saw it has um, the leather built in, so I don't think I need to buy like you know other special interfaces. Full colored mixed reality with resolution four times higher compared to Quest 2. Tracking allows your avatar to mimic your facial expressions, smiles, eyebrow raises, swings, and all. So this is eye and face tracking, but it's not like in your face. It's like they, they don't say it specifically. The controllers have a processor? What? <laughs> That's crazy. There's no specifics on the resolution, no refresh rate, like, see what I mean here? You, you see stuff that actually interests you. Um, here's just the vibe. <laughs> Backward compatibility. Peace of mind comes knowing that you can still access MetaQuest to app catalog to enjoy all your favorite games, entertainment apps, and more. Okay, that's what they did not say. It's crazy expensive for just gaming though. Yeah, I know, but uh, that's what I'm saying. Like, I see it as an investment now because I don't think Quest 3 would be better than this. Like, it would make no sense. Continuous IPD adjustment. It's automatic. Not static, like, you know, free settings, okay. The current situation with my actual headset now is that it's just run down, like, audio is even skipping when I'm not recording, like, in the actual menu, like, I I don't hear this ambient music, I just hear, p -p 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 -p, like, it's just... <laughs> I guess maybe because of the usage or not, like, I've been treating it very well, but it's time for me to switch for sure like i remember when i switched from quest 1 to quest 2 because quest 1 was like you know also skipping and just like the the system was just booting up in like i don't know three minutes then into like 10 seconds to quest 2 like it was just crazy to see the difference and i'm pretty sure it's just because of the like new new headset with not no shit like you know attached with uh, uh, software and just applications slowing it down. I like that you have included the actual comfort like leather pads, like this is actually what what makes it different. Did they say that the battery is in the back or something? Like I've heard it from the leaks but I guess I consider myself an enthusiast now so I can get it and it's not gonna be like a problem for me. Uh, it's not for everyone if you're purely looking at gaming, no. <laughs> I think if you're looking at gaming, I would look at PSVR 2, honestly. If you were skipping the ecosystem thing, to me PlayStation is the future of gaming and maybe future of the channel as well. That's what. That's why I'm also gonna get that. It's gonna be an expensive Christmas, so I'm gonna ask for some presents. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. There are Quest Pro VR earphones. Um... I have them. <laughs> this I got with my Quest 1. And I... Is it the same? Like, that would be hilarious. I love those. Those earbuds, like, uh, the, they're f with me since Quest 1 that I bought. And this is the best thing that I use in terms of audio. Like, a lot of people are using, like, head headphones, which I hate. Not because of the comfortability, but because of the bleeding and stuff. This earbuds for me are perfect. Um, I like the ones that have like bases in them and those like have full light blocker I think it's gonna be mandatory. I did not expect a lot. It wasn't that bad, like it was less cringy than last year. I got what I actually expected, so I guess that's fine. I did not expect GT, I did not expect Assassin's Creed to appear at all. I think the moment we got those news, like people went crazy, but those news were announcing that they are starting to work on it. 
So it's, if it's not gonna take at least two years again, again, it's. I don't think it's cancelled, but it's a long while. Maybe with Quest 3 release because that would make sense. We'll see how it's gonna go. Like you will see me around. That's for sure. Like I'm not going anywhere. It's investment. Let's just say that. Yes, I'm supporting important case. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go to, uh, home. Uh, cheers, you'll see me in the other videos. Bye!